Hello students. Today I will discuss the triangle law and the parallelogram law of vectors. Actually, when two vectors P and Q act at a point, say O, at an angle alpha, we may get the resultant. But for that, we have to apply either of the two laws. One is triangle law and another is parallelogram law. So in triangle law, P vector is represented by this side, by one of the side of the triangle. Let it be AB. P vector is represented by AB. And Q vector that is represented here by BC. Q vector is represented by BC. So, when two vectors acting at a point are represented or can be represented by the two consecutive sides of a triangle in magnitude and in direction, then the third side will represent the resultant vector R in magnitude but in opposite direction. What does it mean? P and Q, the sense is anticlockwise. P and Q, you see, P and then Q, this is anticlockwise. But R, that is clockwise. So, two vectors acting at a point, if they can be represented by the two adjacent sides of the triangle in magnitude and direction, then the third side of the triangle will represent the resultant vector in magnitude but in opposite direction and R is here represented by AC. So R is equal to P plus Q. Now parallelogram law. If two side, if two uh, vectors P and Q acting at a point O at an angle alpha can be represented by the two sides of the parallelogram namely A here also A, B and A, C with A, B and A, C. Two vectors acting at a point can be represented by A, B and A, C. Okay? The point here is A. Okay. What, what, what is here? O, that is here A. And at an angle alpha, in magnitude and direction, if two vectors acting at a point can be represented by the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram in magnitude and in direction, then the diagonal, then the diagonal drawn through this point, that is AD, will represent the resultant vector in magnitude but in opposite direction. So here direction of P is this, direction of Q is this, but R, direction of R is this. So it is again P and Q are which direction? Anticlockwise. And here R is in the clockwise direction. So this is the parallelogram law. With the help of triangle law and parallelogram law, also we can find the magnitude of the resultant vector and the direction of the resultant vector. That is R is equal to root over p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos alpha and tan theta, tan theta is equal to q sin alpha by p plus q cos alpha. That I will do in a video later on. So I think you have understood these two laws. Try to subscribe my channel and give like wherever is possible. Thank you.